September 13th, 2013. I have three 14ers left. After a warm, dry night in Durango's Super 8 Motel and a badly needed hot shower, Lauren and I set off by Jeep. First to Silverton, then across Engineer Pass. Reaching an elevation of 12,800 feet above sea level, Engineer Pass traverses the beautiful alpine scenery between Silverton and Lake City. From May through September, it gives fingertip access to a playground of Colorado's high wilderness and San Juan Mountains. Our goal was to park my Jeep at the Matterhorn Creek Trailhead and Lauren's at the Nelly Creek Trailhead. This would allow Lauren and I to hike Uncompagre Peak together, whereby she would descend back down on her own, and I would continue on to hike Waterhorn Peak that same day. Last night it poured, we slept in the Jeep. Lauren's gonna come to Uncompagre. It's her 13th 14er. There's Uncompagre Peak, goal one for today. Hopefully it doesn't stay shrouded in clouds. You can see the fresh snow on top. As we wound our way up the trail, first west, then to the north, the golden light of morning slowly faded away. For a few minutes we savored the brilliant blue skies of late summer. But little by little, the clouds began to build, obscuring the high peaks. That's the Matterhorn. Colorado's Matterhorn, just below the cloud deck, and behind it is Wetterhorn, my goal for after this peak. Here's the remainder of our route, so I feel a little bit more rugged now. We're almost to the top, probably about 20 minutes away now. As you can see, we're in the clouds. It's snowing very lightly. There's a whole bunch of hoarfrost on the plants, I'll show you this. Standing atop Uncompagre meant I had only two 14ers left. As we retraced our route down the trail, the clouds broke long enough to behold the sea of San Juan Peaks, stretching for over a hundred miles to the south. To the west, under ever-darkening skies, stood the aptly named Wetterhorn.
that's Matterhorn. So from Matterhorn, the east ridge, some of Wetterhorn is up that. We're looking at the east face right now. You can just barely, on the left side of the east face, make out the southeast ridge, which is my route. These are my conditions. Bad and getting worse, but uh, not too bad. They can deal with this. Well, this is pretty tough. As you can see, it's snowing. Until just a minute ago, it was blowing between probably 20 and 35 miles an hour. Pretty dang cold. I only have my really lightweight gloves. Yeah. Good fun there, folks. Good fun there. Let's get it done. There's the southeast ridge of Wetterhorn, that was my route. It was much more entertaining and interesting in the snow, so that was an added bonus, if you will. Here's the east face of Wetterhorn, a notoriously good ski, if you can catch it in condition. Then the east ridge, followed by Matterhorn Peak and Uncompagre Peak. My traverse from the summit of Uncompagre to the summit of Wetterhorn took me approximately three hours the spectacular east face of Wetterhorn, one of the most beautiful mountains in all the San Juans. Let me say that Rubicon is a sight for sore eyes, or sore knees rather. Shiny red Rubicon to take me to see my wife. One fourteen or left. 